once again, I'm not going to be doing this alone. I'm here with Dio. Dio is not just uh, it's someone I met online. And guess what? We have something in common, which is talent. We celebrate talent, we harness talent, and we exhibit talent. Welcome to the show, Dio. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. All right, so Mr. Dio, I'm sure you are aware of the notion that um, the church is not doing enough to celebrate talent yes, and I to am. exhibit talent. But first of all, is the notion totally true or false? Wow, okay, so I think um, there's, there are a lot of things to consider when you um, speak about this. Yes, there is a truth that um, the church could do much better than the church is doing. However, that does not also excuse those who um, take that as an excuse and then decide to go out and do secular. It's not an excuse. But it is true that the church could do a world better. But someone does not just wake up and go out. There will be a reason. There will be something pushing the person out or pushing the people out because we know we have a lot of examples of such people. So okay. what should be? What is the reason? Okay, I, I agree. Now, for some of them, it's because um, they believe that um, the church does not put um, have proper structures and machinations to help them exhibit these talents that they possess. Okay. How be it? For some people, it's just an excuse. They want to do secular. They are hiding under the church and then they feel they want the freedom of the secular world and then they run. All right. But there's a, an adage that says, catch them young. Yeah. Even the Bible says that, um, the Holy Book says that um, when you train up your child in the way it should go, it won't look the bad from it. Yes. So I believe that there's a vacuum, there's a space that's left in the church. That the church is not doing enough to inculcate this content into these people while they are growing up. So when they get into the stage of, let me exhibit my talent, they don't have that content of the church anymore. They have the content of what they've been feeding themselves with. Okay. And that is one of the reasons why the world is more appealing than to the them. church. So how do we bridge that gap? Okay, so I agree with what you just said. Um, I think that um, it starts from the place where the church knows what the church stands for. Okay. Now, many times the church is asking um, gospel, the church streamlines gospel, what is gospel? So um, you're a gospel artist, there is a way you must not do your hair. You understand? There is, there is a way you must not dress. All of all these things come into play and you forget the fact that we are youths, we are human first before we are gospel artists. Yes, predominantly we are Christians and so that means that our values are, um, they don't change. Yeah. Regardless of whatever space that we um, play in, how be it, I think that the church just needs to give room for um, understanding that people are different and people want we youths want creativity we want to express ourselves so once the church understands that place and that place is settled the, the, the what the church should now do is make sure that they are sending out people who they have groomed and they are sure that they have given the word and so when that person goes out to function even in what you call the secularium you know that you have a product of god yeah, I like the part where you said creativity. So are you trying to say the church is not creative enough? Are you trying to say the church is not, does not have enough quality? I think the church frowns on creativity, but the church does not know. Now, um, okay. the, what I mean is the church subjects creativity to spirituality. So if you are too creative, you are not spiritual, and you forget that these are two completely different things. Wow. So how do we correct this notion? Ah, well, so it starts from things like this. Um, when the church sits down and educates themselves, the church has to understand that the fact that some people have gone out there in the world and they've been lost to the world does not mean that every other person who would go out there would be lost to the world. You cannot say that um, because you don't want your children to be like the world, you keep them away from the world. They live in the world, no matter how much you keep um, talents and all away, away from the world, they will still get to interface with the world because we are supposed to go there. The, the world is not attracted to your praise, worship, and all of all that. It's boring to them. They, they, I mean, that Jesus, Jesus thing yeah. is their defense already. And so they need, they need you to be subtle, to be able to come into them, and then you influence their lifestyles. And that is why I said uh, earlier that we have to be sure that the people we are sending out are grounded. So that uh, not just every wishy-washy kind of person goes out there and says they are a Christian and say, uh, says they are Christians. Not every gospel song that is not every song that Jesus mentioned that is a gospel song. Yeah. So what do we? What's our mentality? How do we define what is gospel and what is secular? Wow, you, the spirit is one because that's my next question. Please, in one sentence, define what is gospel. Because um, first of all, I, I want to pick out the cue from a movie I watched, Tyler Perry's movie. 
where a guy said, just put a hip hop song and put Jesus in it. <laughs> you remember that? Music? Yeah, so, I do. Please just define what should be a gospel content. Okay, so now I would say that 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 notion is very wrong. Gospel is simple. It's a life. A Christian, what defines you as a Christian is a life. It's the life you live. It's not what you say. It's not what you wear. Now, I don't mean that all these things do not have um, things to do. They, I don't mean they don't have a part yeah. to play. But predominantly, it is who you are at the core of you that determines if you are Christian or you're secular. Wow. So um, finally, before I let you go, please give us three things that the upcoming thespians out there should know or to hold dearly while they develop in their craft. Okay, so the three things are, I would say one, believe in yourself totally because no one is going to do that for you. Two, work hard because no one is going to give life to you on a platter of gold. Three, stay humble. All right, um, this is what we do on Talent Hub exclusive mostly, but it's going to be a surprise for our guests because I didn't inform him before the show. We do something called the 60 seconds challenge. Now, 60 seconds challenge is where you do whatever you can do best, but you must do it under 60 seconds. <laughs> it can be acting, it can be singing, it can be anything, but just do something for the audience out there under 60 seconds. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I know you're expecting me to sing. How big? What I do best is smile. So, I can smile for 60 seconds. Wow, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> okay, once again, my name is Gio, and this is Talent Hub Exclusive. Hit the like button, make sure to subscribe. Get amazing content here. Like.